Hey there, how's it going? Today I'm going to talk about the USDA loan product. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has a really great loan product that may work out really well for you. I want to talk about um, how to get qualified for it, some benefits of it, and some things to watch out for. So stick around um, right after the beginning here and we'll get right into it. All right, well, welcome back. Well, today, like I said, we're going to talk really quickly about the USDA loan product. Um, I have a lot of clients that have been using this product. I know the product really well, um, and I think it's a great benefit to those who uh, who fall into the category of the USDA. So, all right, well, if you look right behind me on this uh, rural landscape, uh, you'll see there's a, a lot of land behind me that can be developed, but the USDA loan is not just for farmers. The USDA loan is for uh, a lot of different people in a lot of different areas. In fact, here in Greenville, Spartanburg, um, Anderson area, there is a lot of area that is USDA eligible. And USDA eligible means that the home, you can purchase um, a home or build a home in that area with USDA financing. So, you know, what is some of the biggest benefits of the USDA and the financing that they offer? So, uh, one of the biggest ones that you might know already is USDA does 100% financing. So, really, this is um, a loan that you can do with 100% financing, so no down payment. It's probably one of the reasons why a lot of people hear about it and get interested in it is a zero down payment, truly 100% financing. So uh, number one, that is a huge benefit of the USDA loan product. Number two is the USDA loan product, although it's 100% financing, it has a much smaller uh, mortgage insurance payment than let's say an FHA loan does um, on that side. So typically the, uh, the mortgage insurance fee put onto a USDA product is about 0.3.35% of the loan. So if you had a $100,000 loan that you were doing to USDA, uh, your mortgage insurance would only be about $35 a month on that, um, as opposed to some of the other loan programs like an FHA loan, which is also a good product for the right person, you could have a much higher mortgage insurance premium. Um, so the mortgage insurance will just go up as the purchase uh, price of the home or the, the loan amount goes up. So that's great too. Another um, you know, great thing about the uh, USDA is the upfront premium for a USDA product is also quite a bit smaller than let's say an FHA loan product. Um, right now, the upfront premium is just 1%. So if you were doing a $100,000 uh, loan through USDA, you'd have a $1,000 upfront premium. Now you could put that out of pocket, but the USDA will actually allow you to build that right inside your loan. So you can not only have 100% financing on the purchase, but you can also build in that premium. So they'll let you go above 100% to build in the premium. So on a $200,000 purchase, you'd have about a $2,000 uh, premium that you can build that right into the loan. So there's absolutely no out-of-pocket cost for that either. All right, and another point, and like I said, um, USDA loans are not just for farmers. So not just to go, go put a home back in that field back there and become a farmer. There actually is a lot of areas um, that you can have a USDA loan product in. Uh, for example, right here in uh, my area that I live in, so much of Simpsonville um, is USDA. Lots of, there's some in Greer, Taylor's, um, lots of Spartanburg area would be, Piedmont, Fountain Inn, just a lot of area um, that's USDA eligible. What I'll do is I'll put a link uh, below this video. You can click on it. You can type in addresses of homes that you might be interested in and see if they are USDA eligible. So to get approved for a USDA loan, um, it has some factors and some things that are going to be important for you to know. Um, number one, it has some income limitations. So obviously you need to make enough income to qualify, but you also can't make too much income. Um, for a family of one to four, right now in this area, it's about $82,000. So if you have an income above that, you won't get qualified for it. You'll be making too much money. Um, the USDA loan was set up to help those who do not have adequate housing have affordable housing. Um, so if your income is too high, then they won't approve you for the USDA loan. For a family of five or more, you can actually go up to about 100, and I think right now it's about $109,000 income for the family. Now the USDA loan does um, include every household member income in the home, not just the borrower. So if you have a spouse um, or other in the home that has an income, they will include that income as well. So just keep that in mind. And so the USDA loan also has you know, regular debt to income limitations. So you do have to make enough income um, to qualify um, and stuff like that. So the um, basics of the debt to income is that USDA will not allow you to go over 42% uh, DTI. So if you take all your debts 
add your new mortgage payment, divide them by your income, and you have a ratio of over 42%, then the USDA product will not be working for you. Um, you can go upwards of 50 to 50 more, uh, upwards of 50 plus percent with some of the other products like an FHA or conventional, but the USDA wants to see a bit smaller um, debt to income ratio than some of the other loans. So credit score requirement, you know, what's required on your credit score for USDA loan? It's gonna be a little higher than an FHA loan um, and even a little bit higher than some conventional loan products. So. Uh, standardly, uh, the USDA, the Rural Development, they want to see a credit score of about 640 in order to be approved and eligible for the USDA loan product. And just like all other loans, with a higher score, um, you'll get a better interest rate. Now, the great thing about USDA loan is that it has great rates. Um, in addition to all the other things about it, it also has great financing and great rates. So you usually get a better rate with the USDA loan than you might than you might get with some conventional financing or even the FHA loan, but that's fairly similar as well. So how long does it take to close on a USDA loan? So it's not that much different than a regular loan, although there's one extra thing that has to happen once we package your loan together, which takes us about 15 days, um, sometimes less, we'll go ahead and we have to package that together and send it over to rural development where they go ahead and put their final stamp of approval on it. It takes about an extra seven days. So from a standard loan, about seven days longer. Um, I'm closing loans right now, standard loans, within about you know seven to 15 days. So USDA loan definitely is gonna take a little longer than that, maybe up to 21 to 30 days in order to get that loan from start to finish. So I hope you enjoyed you know the information inside. If you wanna learn more about USDA loan products, see if you qualify, please click on the link below. You can schedule a call with me or just text, call, or SMS me, message me on Facebook. I look forward to talking with you and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.